My three favorite stories to tell are Stone Soup, Mama Taro, and The Mouse Bride. A story I love to tell is The Mouse Bride because the kids get to come up and be the characters and by the end of it, I don't even have to say anything because everyone knows what to say and what to do and it's just wonderful to watch because they're all having so much fun as well. One of my most favorite memories was during a story called The Dancing Monster. And during the story, I usually get dads to come and dress up and stand on stage and I tell them to do a silly dance. But this one time, a dad was so excited about it and he got up and he did the best dance he's ever done ever. And I didn't stop him, I just let him do it for like five minutes and everyone was loving it, it was great. I love to see the excitement and the joy in the kids' faces. You can really just see it in their eyes when they're so ready to find out what happens next or when you're singing a song or doing some actions um, or they're on stage as well, how much they're enjoying it. I love it. I get very excited. I'm usually a bit stressed out, but in a good way because you're thinking about the story you're going to be telling, which is at least 30 minutes. And then also staying open to what the kids are going to suggest and they might say something silly that you want to incorporate into the story and you just never know what to expect really. You can have like a set plan, but there'll always be one or two or all the kids that completely change what's about to happen next, which is very fun. Where's my water bottle? because I'm usually exhausted by the end of it. I don't think people realize how much energy is really required to just capture a, an audience, let alone an audience of children. It, it's a lot. And because you're talking for so long, my voice gets very dry. So where's my water bottle? An older man came up to me at a cafe after I was finished, maybe like an hour after I was done actually. And he approached me and he, he said he really enjoyed the session and even though he was hard of hearing and had hearing aids, he could hear me very clearly and he loved seeing how much the kids were enjoying it. And that was the first kind of compliment and feedback I'd ever gotten. So it was something I will always remember and cherish. My role as a young storyteller for me personally is to help people kind of realize that storytelling isn't just for bedtime and stories aren't just from books. Um, storytelling sessions and especially ones as interactive as ours are great ways to learn communication skills, to build confidence, um, to just have a great bonding session with your family while having a lot of fun. And there are so many ways to tell one story and every storyteller will tell it a different way and every audience will have a completely new experience and I just like being a part of their day and making sure that each child walks out like a little bit happier.